You are very welcome to Grand Canal Square on behalf of Dublin City and Amnesty International. I would like to thank you all for being here. I particularly want to welcome all of the members of the Burmese community we have with us this evening, many of whom are right up here at the front. You're very welcome. Just over 12 years ago, Dublin City awarded the freedom of the city to Aung San Suu Kyi. Back then, her son collected the accolade on her behalf, but tonight, she is here in person to receive that award. The formal procession has just begun from the Borgosh Theatre here on this side. The Lord Mayor of Dublin will accompany our very special guest, Aung San Suu Kyi, to the stage. While that happens, will you please welcome to play a slow air from the west of Ireland on Tin Whistle, Liam Omwainley. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give a Dublin an Irish welcome to Aung San Suu Kyi. On the 18th of March 2000, Dublin City read a resolution into the record books awarding the freedom of the city to our special guest. I would now like to invite Dublin City Manager Don Tierney to reread that resolution. That the honorary freedom of the city of Dublin be conferred on Aung San Suu Kyi, the General Secretary of the Burmese National League for Democracy, and that she be elected and admitted to be an honorary Burgess for the County Borough of Dublin, pursuant to the provisions of the Local Government Act 1991.
Thank you, John. We will now hear from the Lord Mayor of Dublin, Andrew Montague. Accordia. For what long falcha a core of gok dinner, could he an oak hide special to an oct? Gamor more riv ong sang su chi. <laughs> Members of Dublin City Council, TDs, MEPs, fellow citizens, I am hugely honoured and delighted to join with you in extending a Cade meal of falcha. 100,000 welcomes to Dublin and to Ireland, to Ong San Su Chi. There are many people who must be thanked for help helping to bring this night about. I want to thank Amnesty International for their long campaign to keep Ong San Su Chi's plight in the public consciousness and to acknowledge their role in bringing her to Ireland today. I want to thank all of the Irish people who have campaigned for your freedom, who wrote letters demanding your release and who never gave up on you. I want to thank all Dubliners who signed the Book of Solidarity in City Hall, opened by the then Lord Mayor Emer Costello, to express their abhorrence at Aung San Suu Kyi's continued unjust detention. This was in response to her own powerful plea to people when she said, please use your freedom to promote ours. I want to thank four freemen of the City of Dublin who used their platform as the world's greatest rock band to, to raise awareness of Dawsu's detention. Let's hear it for Bono, Larry, Adam and the Edge. Let's hear it for you too. Tonight, I want to thank the former Lord Mayor who 12 years ago proposed the Dublin City Council Award Aung San Suu Kyi, the freedom of the city. Councillor Mary Freehill. And I would also like to acknowledge the late Martin Lacey, co-founder of Burma Action Ireland, who met with Da Su and campaigned to have her awarded the freedom of the city. He would have dearly loved to be here tonight. Martin Lacey. <laughs> Daw Su, you are a democracy and human rights activist of the world renown. You are General Secretary of the National League for Democracy in Burma and in 1990, your party won the general election with 59% of the vote and 81% of the seats. But you were detained under house arrest before that election and prevented from taking your rightful place in Parliament as head of government. You have received many international accolades, including the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991 for your fight for democracy and for human rights. I want to tell you, Da Su, about one of our great Irish heroes. Daniel O'Connell, known as the Liberator, was a former Lord Mayor of Dublin and was internationally renowned for democracy and human rights activism. And like you, he campaigned peacefully. He was born into a country where religious discrimination was enshrined into law. Only those who practiced the state religion were entitled to vote, 
run for election or to participate in many professions in Irish life. But through peaceful protest and mass movement, Daniel O'Connell extended the right to vote to many more people in Ireland and ended state-sponsored religious discrimination. He set out his principles on non-violent political action as follows. The principle of my political life is that all ameliorations and improvements in political institutions can be obtained by persevering in a perfectly peaceable and legal course. He was the first campaigner in the world to use peaceful protest to bring democratic change to his country. Daniel O'Connell and you, Da Su, share those principles of non-violent political action. Da Su, for many years you were a political prisoner and prisoner of conscience, like other freemen of Dublin City, such as Timothy Daniel Sullivan and Nelson, Nelson Mandela. You could have taken the easy way out. You could have gone into the exile as the Burmese regime wanted. But you would not abandon your people. You remained loyal to your duty and you remained under house arrest for 15 years. Your release from house arrests signals an important step forward for your country. But many more changes and freedoms will have to be implemented before Burma can truly call itself a free and democratic country. To this day, there still remain more than 300 political prisoners in Burma. And the campaign continues for their release and the Irish people will stand with you. And finally, Da Su, you have inspired us with your courage. You have moved us with your sacrifice. You have touched us with your kindness. Twelve years ago, your son, Kim Maurice, accepted this award on your behalf. On that day, he said, I hope someday circumstances in Burma will allow my mother to come to Ireland to accept this honour herself. Da Su, that day is today. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Josu will now sign the Freedom of the City Resolution. And so it is done. It has taken 12 years, but the Freedom of Dublin is awarded to Aung San Suu Kyi. We are delighted now to present some gifts to our visitor. The Lord Mayor, firstly, is presenting a sculpture made by Tony Downey from Irish Bog Oak. It's entitled In Flight, symbolizing Dawsu's freedom and her ability to leave her country safe in the knowledge that she's welcome to return to Burma. <laughs> Councillor Mary Freehill was Lord Mayor of Dublin in the year 2000 when the freedom of the city was originally awarded. Now Councillor Freehill presents the scroll commemorating this visit and the signing of the role of honorary freedom. And now I would like to invite Da Su to address those of you gathered here this evening.
this will be one of the unforgettable days of my life. I have been welcomed to Ireland as though I belong to you. And for that, I thank you with all my heart. You have stood by us in our times of trouble. These troubles are not yet all over, and I'm confident that you will stand, continue to stand with us. And please believe that when I say you are a part of my heart, I really mean it with my whole heart. Thank you. Thank you, Dorsu. And now we welcome musicians from the Burmese Karen community who live in County Mayo. Our seven musicians will prepare on stage as we welcome Hikal Mansour, who is presenting a portrait painted by Mohammed Rafiq on behalf of the Rohingya community who are based in County Carlo. And once again, please welcome Hikal Mansour presenting that portrait on behalf of the Rohingya community. Thank you, Hikal. And now a special treat from our musicians who are just readying themselves. We are going to hear some traditional Burmese music from members of the Karen community. Thank you very much to our musicians from the Karen community. And now I would like to introduce you to Colm O'Gorman, Executive Director of Amnesty International Ireland, who's going to say a few words. Good evening, everybody. Well, it didn't rain, so that's something, isn't it? 
We've been watching the weather for the last two weeks. I have to say, first of all, don't ever trust a long-range weather forecast, because if I had it, I think I would have spent the last two weeks seriously depressed. Uh, we were told it was going to lash rain tonight. It isn't now, so let's celebrate that fact at least. Dublin's put on its good face for Dao Aung San Suu Kyi. I, I really don't have an awful lot to say because um, there are times, I think, rare in your life uh, when you meet a person who, quite frankly, by her presence, leaves you speechless. And I think what usually is common among those people is that they do so without ego, without any sense of their own significance, by the simple fact of who they are. Dewang Seng Suu Kyi is one of those people. It is extraordinary to have among us a woman who can speak of power in politics with the same resonance as she speaks of love, of compassion, of human dignity, of familyhood, of one brotherhood of, of, of all people across the world. We are proud and privileged to have her here. So please give one massive cheer for our really, really special guest, Dao Aung San Suu Kyi. This, this trip of Aung San Suu Kyi across Europe is incredibly intense. She has been extraordinarily generous uh, in giving us as much time as she possibly could. She's here for six hours. I have to say, Suu Kyi, we haven't let you rest once. For that, we apologize. But I hope you appreciate that our busyness is determined by our desire to express our love, our solidarity, our concern, and our respect for you, for what you stand for, and for your life's work. I do, I do just very quickly want to also acknowledge the presence of the Burmese community here. It was terribly important to us at Amnesty and I know to Dao Su that representatives and members of the community had a moment to hear you speak and a moment to have a few short words with you as well. I also just very quickly want to acknowledge and thank the extraordinary Burma Action Ireland who for the last 16 years have done incredible work in advancing the cause of human rights, freedom and democracy in Burma. And I know that they've been in direct contract with Dao Su a lot of the time as well. And then finally, in about 1995, and Dao Su, extraordinary things happen in Irish kitchens. We have lots of conversations there. We sometimes have lots of arguments there. We make up a lot of the time there. We cook. We food is important to us as it is, I know, in, in your country, in Burma. But in about 1995, in a kitchen in the county of Cork, the Amnesty Group down there baked a very special cake, and it was a cake for your birthday. They were able to get that cake to your husband, to Michael, and Michael brought it to you in Burma. And I understand that you shared that cake on your wedding anniversary together. And I know that the Amnesty Group in Cork were thrilled to get really beautiful letters back from you talking about the experience of having that cake. Well, they've spent the last couple of days recreating the cake, especially given as it's Dao Su Chi's birthday tomorrow. Or, or as, Damien, as Damien Rice pointed it out inside, it's gone midnight already in Burma, so in fact, in Burma, it's Dao Su Suu Kyi's birthday today. So I'd like to invite Michael on stage to present Dao Su Kyi with exactly the same cake that you would have received the last time from the Amnesty Group in Cork. Michael. And then finally, just to close it all, I'd like to invite, I'd like to invite Eleanor McAvoy to lead us all, and we need to be in fine voice, in singing happy birthday to our very special guest. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Young San Suji. Happy birthday to you. Everybody, thank you for being so patient. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for singing Happy Birthday to Dao Su. We need to bring her back inside now and give her a little bit of a rest before we send her on the next leg of her journey. So please, one last time, a big round of applause and give lots of love from Ireland, from Burma, to Dao Su Kyi. Thanks, everybody. Good night.
Sarah San Suu Kyi, once again, can I thank you for being here? You have done Dublin and Ireland proud tonight. Thank you very much for coming along. The formalities are over. I wish you a safe journey home. But before you leave, please join us in a final celebration as we hear this song, Walk On, written by you two for Aung San Suu Kyi. Good night. <laughs>